Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, sir. This is Dr. Nesar. Welcome you all once again in our online lecture series of artificial intelligence and the robotics. <clears throat> this is our ninth lecture, and uh, today we will divide the lecture in the two session. Okay, in the first session we. discuss about the best first search in the artificial intelligence <clears throat> and in the second session of lecture we will discuss about the another algorithm searching technique that is related with the inform search technique okay now we are discussing the searching techniques which is being under the state space search where the state space search is nothing but the technique which is used for the problem solving related with the artificial intelligence in that two categorization are there that already we have discussed the uninformed search and the informed search technique already we have discussed related with the techniques under the uninformed search techniques and currently we are discussing about the techniques related with the informed search techniques now let me ask you the question can anybody tell me what is the difference between the uninformed search and the inform search yes tell me the difference between the inform search and the uninform search anybody yes all of you can hear me yes all of you can hear me or not yes sir all of you understood the question i have asked what is the difference between the informed search and the uninformed search hmm yes shubham bawar शंतनु वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अन इनफॉर्म एंड द इनफॉर्म सर्च यस नो बडी नो ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट द क्वेश्चन yes or no say something yes sir all of you got the question yes sir yes sir now tell me the answer what is the difference between the uninformed search and the informed search hmm sonal sir uh, in inform search uh, no additional information from the current uh, state is uh... in inform search or the uninform search inform search what what in the inform search uh, no additional information from the current uh, state is taken hmm. and in the uninform search in an inform search uh, there is uh, additional information from uh, estimate estimate distance from the current state to the goal you told me the complete reversal of uh, actual answer 
Yes. Who is this? Sir, uh, inform search means uh, uh, we know about uh, we know these steps uh, for mm -hmm. uh, reaching the goal state, mm -hmm. and in an inform search, uh, we don't know uh, don't know the path to reach mm -hmm. the goal Correct. state. Correct. Correct. Anybody else? Uh, sir, mm. uh, an inform search name. नोट सर्च होती है जब तक गोल स्टेट फाइंड आउट ना हो और जब तक फेलुअर ऑकर ना हो इनफॉर्म सर्च में उसमें गोल स्टेट की इन्फॉर्मेशन बताई होती है मतलब होती है इन्फॉर्मेशन के गोल स्टेट कौन सी है अनफॉर्म सर्च में गाइडेंस कुछ गाइडेंस मिलता है हमको उधर और वो ले इनफॉर्म सर्च फास्ट होता है और इनफॉर्म स्लो रहता है उसमें ज़्यादा टाइम लगता है अनइनफॉर्म सर्च में और इनफॉर्म सर्च में लेस टाइम लगता है। ओके, सो दिस थिंग्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस ब्रॉडली व्हाट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द अनइनफॉर्म एंड द इनफॉर्म सर्च। फ्रॉम द जस्ट मीनिंग ऑफ़ दैट वर्ड यू मस्ट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एक्जेक्टली इट Okay, so in the uninformed search techniques already we have discussed. Now this is the first technique in case of the informed search that is the best first search in the artificial intelligence. Okay, now this is the one of the informed search technique. The, this point are the similar that every time we are discussing. Another, another name for the informed search that already I told you it is nothing but called as a greedy search method also and the or the heuristic search method also. Okay. So, when you see the example, you understand this algorithm works only basis of the heuristic value which are given. Okay, and because of this heuristic value, it become easy for the AI agent to search the certain paths and reach to the goal node. Okay, now to search the certain paths along with the, this heuristic value, we are also going to utilize some evaluation function. To decide which adjacent node is most promising node and which should we select. Means if there are the two nodes, if there are the two nodes, okay, this is suppose the parent node and these are the two node child nodes. So we are going to utilize the evaluation function to decide whether the AI agent should go on this node or AI agent should go on this node. Understood? So with the help of the heuristic value and the evaluation function, we are going to decide. The most promising node. Okay, now for that purpose, uh, in case of the best first search, we are going to maintain one queue that is being referred as here the priority queue. Most the particular node which is having the highest priority according to the heuristic value that will get uh, first preference in case of the priority queues. That's why I have written here priority queue is used to store the cost function. Okay. Things related with the complexity, the parameters are being similar in order to evaluate the complexity. That is the big O of B raised to D, where the B is the branching factor and D is the depth. Understood? So from this slide, the thing you must understood that is nothing but on the basis of heuristic value and the evaluation function, the AI agent will proceed to the its goal node. Okay, this much understood. Yes. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's move to the next. Now, here we are going to discuss some terms that we are going to utilize uh, in the best first search. Okay. Here we need to maintain the two list. One is the open list, and another is the closed list. Okay. Now, what exactly this open list, closed list is? A open list contains the those nodes that have been evaluated by the heuristic function, but that have not been expanded. Okay, keep in mind this these things because we are going to need this when you are going to solve the example. What the open uh, list contains? The nodes which are being evaluated with the help of the heuristic function, but that are not expanded into the successors. Understood. So that nodes are come under the open list category, and second list is the closed list. Now these these list contains the node that have been already 
visited and will we the ai agent should never go to this kind of nodes again and again understood so open list is what the node which are being evaluated with the help of the function ashwini pawar switch off your mic okay see here open list contain the node which are which have been evaluated with the help of the heuristic function understood these things you have to just keep in mind and closed list contain those nodes that have been already visited understood the open list and the closed list in the example these things will get more clear but here you just have to keep in mind open list contain the the node which are being evaluated using the heuristic function but that are not expanded into the successor means its children are not yet visited and if you if you make the entry of some node into the closed list it indicates the ai agent should never visit that node again because it has been already visited understood the difference between the open list and the closed list yes sir okay now let's move to the next point what exactly the algorithm is saying so as i said we need to maintain the one priority queue we are calling it as a pq containing the initial states okay under the loop if initial if you find the pq is empty then definitely it it indicates its meaning is what return fail okay else the insertion of node into the priority queue will carry on so insertion of node into the pq is nothing but indicated by the insertion of node into the open list okay next now what we do next we remove the particular node first node from the that open list okay and we make the entry of that node into the closed list because if some node is there in the open list it indicates that we have visited it and that's why it will be moved into the closed list okay if the node that you have moved to the closed list if that node is the goal node okay when you move the node from the open list to the closed list your next step is what you have to compare whether that node is the goal node or not if it is the goal node okay the node you have entered in the closed list if it is the goal node then it indicate the success it indicate what success in the sense we have reached to the or the ai agent has reached to the goal node yes or no yes. correct up to this understood yes. or not yes sir okay yes sir now as it indicates you have reached to the goal node then you have to return the path from the initial state to that goal node that is nothing but your traversing path but if that node in the closed list that you have enter is not the goal node then the else part and what the else part is saying generate all the successor of node okay and insert newly generated node into the priority queue according to what according to the cost value according to the cost value means what those successor is having less cost those successor is having the less cost that node will be on the front side of that priority queue understood and those successor is having the highest cost those node will be on the what we can say the back side of that priority queue understood so this this these will be continue these things will be continue until the ai agent will not able to find the node equal to the goal node understood let me let me clear you the else part once again if goal node is not found then what you have to do you have to enter you have to enter the successor of that particular node which you have enter into the closed list understood that's why i have written here generate all the successor of node and insert that newly generated into the pq in the sense insert the newly generated node into the which list open list understood up to this point 
yes sir okay now let when you see the example the things will become more clear let's go to the example okay see here now here here we have given this is the our starting node okay this is the starting node and this is nothing but the goal node means what the ai agent ai agent has to start from this point and he has to reach to the this goal node understood then how he will reach and what will be the path followed by it that we are going to discuss here okay now here some parameters are given that parameters we need to understand first okay what is being given here as i said in the example the heuristic value will be definitely there understood now this 11 is what this 11 the distance between uh, this uh, parameter or the value written between the a and b what does it mean it is nothing but the cost it is nothing but what cost to reach from a to b similarly everywhere okay this point clear Yes, sir. Okay. Now here we have given some heuristic value. As in the previous lecture, we have discussed the heuristic value can be estimated using the different kind of methods. Which methods we have seen? Yes. Different method to uh, estimate the heuristic value. yes using which different methods the heuristic value can be evaluated hmm which methods we have discussed yes shubham what are the methods to evaluate the heuristic value fenal nanishwar do you got the question Yes, sir. What I am asking, which are the different method using which the heuristic value can be evaluated? In the last lecture, we have discussed Euclidean distance. Exactly. What Euclidean distance is the one method? Then another is the Manhattan distance. Correct. Now the Euclidean to the to the Euclidean distance can be referred by one more name that is nothing but the straight line distances. Last time I told you. Okay. so as i said we we don't have any need to evaluate this value this value should be there in the example and that's why you can see here we have given this straight line distances okay now what exactly it is indicating now this you can see here a to g means to reach from a to g the how much heuristic value or the cost is going to be required or what is the estimation of the cost 40 to go from b to g 32 to go from c to g 25 likewise understood so these values are given okay and using this value and this cost given as a distance between the a to b and like all these nodes we have to evaluate the what will be the traversing path for the ai agent to go from this point to the this point and how the best first search will help us in order to reach help us in the sense how it will help to the ai agent in order to reach to the goal node okay now let's start as i said we have to maintain the two list open list and close list okay now as i have mentioned in the algorithm now insert first thing you need to do is insert the node into the pq that is the open list 
which is the first node that we should insert into the open list yes which node we should a. insert a huh? a a a is the starting node root node that's why here you can see in the open list we have entered the a okay next thing that should be done is what remove the first node from the pq means remove the first node from the open list you can call it as the pq also now what is the first node in the open list or the pq priority queue is a correct if you remove yes. it if you remove it where it will come into the closed list correct or not correct or do you getting the state meaning of this statement yes sir if you remove that node from the open list it will definitely get entered into the closed list closed list next thing that has to do the next thing to be do is uh, uh, next to be to be next thing to be conducted is what then you have to compare whether the node that you have enter into the closed list is it the goal node tell me is it the goal node no no that is not the goal node then what has to be done next then we have to come to the else part correct what is being mentioned in the else part generate all successor of node means we have to generate the all successor of which node we have to generate now tell me now at this point we have to generate the initial initial in the a. in the sense you have to generate the successor of node a correct or a. not correct yes sir okay now which are the successor of node a tell me from this figure B, B, and D, B, C, C and D. And D. Now, what is being written? And insert that newly generated node into the which queue? Priority queue means open list. Yes. But you don't have to insert them randomly. How you have to insert them? According to cost value. According to the cost value. Now, where you will where you will find the cost value? Uh, where you will find the that... cost value the meaning of this cost value is nothing but heuristic value okay for the point this cost value is not this value this cost value is nothing but the given heuristic value means what what does it mean as successor of a r b c and d then what has to be done next you have to see what is the heuristic value to reach from b to g Here, see here. here. All of you can see. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. How much it is? Note down. It is. Note down. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. To reach from C to G, how much? Twenty-five. And from the D to G, how much? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Which is the lowest out of these three? C to G. C to G. C to G, and that's why in the open list. your open list will be or your priority queue will be look like this correct or not first c yes. then b because b is having the next less value and then the d this much is clear okay. yes sir yes, sir. Yes, sir. what next has to be do again you have to come to this point yes remove remove c remove. so c will co come where in the close list yes, correct then you have to again check yes. whether that node you have entered into the closed list whether it is the goal node no no, no. then what has to be done next successor of successor of, of c we are the which are the successor e of c f. e and f e that f and f. we have to check here what is the heuristic value to reach from e to g e to g 19, 19. f to 19. g f to g Seventeen. That's why your priority will be you will be like this. F E F B D. Nikam Shraddha, I am listening some noisy sound from your side. Switch off your mic. So your priority queue will be F E F B D up to this. I hope all of you almost got the idea. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now what is the next to be done? Again, this we have done. Again, you have to come to this point. 
remove the remove. first node from the priority key, yeah. which is that first node from the yeah. Yeah. okay. We are here. Yeah. Yeah. F. Yeah. You if you if you remove the F, its entry will be happen in the closed list. Yes. 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 Whether this F is our goal node? No. 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 Then. Okay. What has to be do next? The next node. You need to successor of F. Successor of F. F. Successor of F. Yes. Successor of you need to F. You need to add which is the successor of F. G. Only C and one. G. Hi, sorry, G. Only, only one, one node is there. Only one. Okay, ha. Huh. Understood. So here you have yes. add the successor of F as a G, correct? Yes. yes. Next, what has to be done? Goal node. Goal node. You have to check whether it is a goal node or not. Whether it is the goal yes. node? Yes. 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 And that's why you can see if it is after if you after you remove G from open list, its entry will be made in the closed list. Yes. And when yeah. you its entry made in the closed list, we are checking whether it is a goal node or not, and it is a goal node or not. Yes. Yes. yes and that's yes. why we reach to the goal node. Yes. We in the yes. sense yes. AI agent. Okay. Okay. And that's why here automatically in the closed list you will get the traversing path also A to C, C to F, and F to G. G. And that's why now you can evaluate the what is the cost. A to C, C to F, and F to G. G. Calculate from here. A to C, how much? Fourteen. 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 C to F. Ten. Twenty-four. Uh, Twenty-four. And F to G. Twenty. Twenty plus twenty-four. Forty-four. Forty-four. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you you can tell me. Can we get the cost less than forty-four by choosing some another path? Now you do the examination of these and tell me. No, sir. No, sir. Check carefully. Okay. I think no. No, no sir. But no, sir. but sometime it can happen that mm. cost you have got here. There might be a some another path which can have the cost lower than this. Correct. Yes. Oh. It yes, can sir. happen. You can you will definitely see some example like this, and that's why one property of inform search we have discussed that inform search technique. may uh, inform search technique will definitely give you the good solution but but what it may not give you the best solution best solution understood that property yes, we are going to utilize in the uh, in case of the advantages and the disadvantage i hope all of you got the best first search technique and this is the best first search technique yes yes sir yes sir yes sir okay and these are the advantages disadvantages you can see here it is a memory efficient as compared to the dfs bfs this bfs in the sense breadth first search search it is complete in the sense it can definitely give you the at least one solution no problem and in the disadvantage i mentioned it can give you the good solution every time but may not give you the optimal solution meaning of optimal in the sense best Best in solution. worst case, now this is a very important property in case of the inform search technique and the, in the uh, first search technique under the inform search. In worst case, what is being written here? See carefully. In worst case, it may behave like the unguided DFS. What does it mean? Hmm. in worst case it may behave like the unguided dfs yes what you are thinking about this 
that means uh, we go through a, a path cost mm -hmm. so if the path cost is less then we can choose that means uh, there is no fixed path in uh, depth first search we uh, traverse from left then we go deeper and then uh, right right side okay let me clear you in worst case it may behave like the unguided dfs let me clear you with one example okay as i said informed search technique works on the basis of guidance he get correct or not yes yes sir yes. means uh, think like this a means you are at the eola mm. and you have to reach to the nashik correct yes now you don't know anything correct but what inform search yes. technique says you can ask to anybody in general i am saying yes or no that yes. is nothing but the guidance in case of the inform search now if you ask what you do if you don't know how to reach to the nashik from yavla you will ask somebody their passengers who is there yes or no yes. right yes. at the yavla bus stop or in the winsur uh, chow correct yes now what is the probability that that person will definitely tell you the correct path can you say 100% probability is there of correction no 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 and that is the reason if that person tells you wrong path then you may reach to the some uh, some uh, some other location instead of nashik correct or not correct yes, yes. yes and that is the meaning of that is the meaning of inverse case okay it may be like the unguided DF dfs ata ita guidance milale pan that guidance is wrong then it is like simply like the dfs yes or no yes sir you sir. may reach anywhere correct or not yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, that is nothing but the uh, one disadvantage of the BFA search. Okay. Okay. So, any any doubt regarding the best first search technique? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Now it is not possible for me to give you the assignment and all all these things, and uh, it is your duty only to what you if you don't if you want to write in the notebook such kind of assignments or not. But one thing I want to tell you, and initially also I told you. you have to go through the all the videos that i am uploading every day understood yes sir and not mm -hmm. just has to open and close it and write your name you must watch it because i can see here the watch time also and that is your homework only got the point okay. got the point yes sir yes sir yes sir so that's it from the first session so after the 5 minutes i will start the second uh, one more algorithm we'll discuss yes okay sir yes okay, okay thank you all welcome sir